Hello everybody. I hope you're well today. I'm making this video in response to a new friend's uh, video. He's uh, got a little game he'd like us to play. Intellect versus Will, the game. The link to the video is below. Very intelligent man this is. A thinker. And his uh, question brings up a lot of interesting uh, thoughts in my brain. Um, it starts with the question. You say, the scientist community discovers evidence and proof that there is no God. And the scientists say and prove there is no God. They have proof there is no God. And uh, what would your reaction to that be? Well, I know the atheist reaction would be, see, I told you all along. But as a Christian, what would my reaction to that knowledge be? Would I give up my faith in a God science shows to be wrong, follow my will, believe anyway? Intellect over will. Now it is said that if I my will overrides what my intellect says, I am being intellectually dishonest with myself. And this would be true, in a way. I'm going to break it down a little bit. The question itself yeah, would not happen in the first place. Science cannot prove anything to be 100% either way they can give varying degrees of probability and science many scientists out there have already stated I think it was in the 50s that there's probably no God and I have heard scientists even on TED Talks just last week say of course there is no God how they base this is by their own will, not by what science says, but say, to play your game we have to follow your rules and say that is the case. They have proven that God does not exist. Would I continue to believe in such a God? Yes. Let me explain why. You see, there was a time in my life where I was told that if I go in this place, it's certain death. You're going to die if you go in there, they'll kill you. But I knew I had to go in there for the purpose that I was out for. I knew that there was a chance I could die doing it. But I went anyway, and here I am. I am not dead. The almost certainty that I would die was apparently wrong. And my will to do that which I knew I needed to do fell through, followed through and I succeeded because of my will against the overwhelming evidence which said I would die. Nothing is for certain in this world. Most likely, probably, but not 100% certain. Well, we can say, for instance, for instance, that this knife is real. It has a blade. It can cut you. We know it. I can cut myself and prove it. However, the 
you only perceive that I hold a knife in my hand, and that it's a blade that can cut me. And you would only perceive that I was cut by seeing blood. No, I didn't cut myself. I don't want to bleed. And the knife is real. However, perceived. We don't know for certain. Could have all been in my imagination that the knife was there. You know, because everything that goes on that we perceive is in here. All the physical world is all put down to electronic signals in our brain which we perceive to be the reality around us. But is that all there is? Uh, it depend upon the state of your mind, wouldn't it? madman is only mad because he's perceived to be mad by others. In the madman's mind, he may seem to be quite logical to himself. Yeah, I'm crazy. But uh, I already know there's God. He revealed himself to me. And so proven he doesn't exist would be a lie to me. So, it's a moot question. But this is a game, and it is a, um, I would say, a philosophical argument. So no matter how much you prove something to some people, they wish to believe it the way they believe it, they're going to believe it that way no matter what you try to show them or how you try to convince them. Even if science proved there was a God, that God was real, there would be atheists that would deny that. So, interesting game though. I think we should all play get inside of your own mind. You know, I just demonstrated that my will is stronger than my intellect. Am I intellectually dishonest with myself because of it? Or is my intellect lying to me in my innate will, part of my being, is it telling the truth? What is the will? Where does it come from? The answer to this question and the answer to the other one will be apparent. I've always been a strong-willed person. And I've done things that others say you couldn't do. I've done things that others say is impossible to do. Because my will was strong enough to push me through it. And my intellect was good enough to find a way to work it out. Don't limit yourself. God laughs at man's knowledge and wisdom. And uh, science has been wrong many times before.
part of the scientific process. When they get wrong, they make a mistake, and they go back. And they readjust it until it finally fits. That's about all I have on that one. I would be interested in your responses on this. I'm going to post this as a response to his video. And uh, I'd like to see your responses to, this, to his question as well. Play the game. Mine is only one point of view. I'm interested in others' points of view. After all, I do not, limit, do not want to limit myself to my own rationale, my own reason. Because I make mistakes too, and I could be wrong. So, I guess that's it. Good video. Good game. Hope you understood what I said. It made any sense. Peace, love, and understanding be with y'all. Have a good day. <laughs> Beard wants to go to one side for some reason. I must have slept on it wrong last night. Need the trim.